Hello guys and welcome back. This here is a happy model Mobula 7 from Banggood. The Mobula 7 is a ready to fly micro first person view whoop drone with brushless motors that comes pre-assembled, pre-flashed and configured with beta flight. In this video I'm unboxing the Mobula 7 and I'm going to show you how to bind it with your transmitter and how to set it up. This is the box of the Mobula 7 and as you can see it's the version with the integrated FR Sky receiver. Surprisingly the Mobula 7 comes with a very detailed user manual. It also comes with some cool stickers and of course with the Mobula 7 micro drone itself with two 250mA batteries. The box also contains some spare propellers, tools and a jumper for the battery connector. And at last there are two additional 250mA high voltage batteries in the box and a small USB charger. Here we can see the very detailed user manual of the Mobula 7. There you can find all necessary information about the hardware and how to set it up. In the following I will show you the main steps to get your quad in the air. First of all you need to connect your Mobula 7 with your computer. The Mobula 7 comes pre-configured so there's not much to do in beta flight. At the port step there's nothing to do, everything is already set up correctly. At the configuration page I only have raised the motor idle throttle value and I have changed the SPE bus receiver provider from FR Sky X to FR Sky D to bind it in the D8 mode with my Tyrannus. On the pit step I only have entered my rates. Ahead on the receiver tab I have selected the AUX4 as RSSI channel. The integrated receiver of the Mobula 7 has a RSSI output on this channel. At the modes tab I only have selected my AUX channels for the pre-enabled flight modes. Next at the motor tab you can check your motor direction but that's already set up correctly so there's nothing to do. Last at the OSD page you can set up your on-screen display. At next I show you how to bind your Mobula 7 with your Tyrannus. The user manual shows the bind button on the FC board. Power your Mobula 7 and press the button. You did it correctly when the blinking LEDs are getting solid. Now the Mobula 7 is in the binding mode. Then turn on your transmitter and move to the bind option on the setup menu. I have chosen the D8 mode according to the beta flight receiver configuration. Enter the bind option to bind your Mobula 7 with your Tyrannus. The LEDs will blink again. Exit the binding mode and when the LEDs are getting solid again the binding was successful. Zero. Now I show you how to change the video channel. The easiest way is to press the button on the VTX. But I definitely prefer changing the channel over the OSD menu. 
For this, power up your Mobula 7, let your video receiver scan for the current channel and then enter the OSD menu with moving the sticks of your Tyrannus. For this, you have to move your sticks to mid throttle, jaw left and pitch forward. From here you can scroll to features with the pitch stick and then you can select your VTX band and channel. Next I show you how to power your quad. Here we have two options. You can power your quad with two batteries to get a 2S beast. And you also can power it with only one battery. So you will get a less powerful Mobula 7 that will be perfect for flying indoor and also for your first flights with the squad. For powering your Mobula 7 with only one battery, you will need the jumper for the battery connector. At last you can also adjust your camera angle by moving the camera housing up and down. So that's it, I really like the Mobula 7 and I'm also looking forward to get the HD version of it. I hope you liked the video, thank you for watching and see you next time.